So I'm going to show you how to insert an N-Light sensor. The first thing that you need to do is make sure that your hands are clean and you've washed those. So we've got some dressings, um, the N-Light sensor itself, the insertion device and the mini link and the mini link charger. The first thing that you're going to do about an hour beforehand is place the mini link onto the charger and you'll see that there's a green light flashing. That means that it's charging, so you'll just put that to one side to charge. And when it stops flashing, that means that it's ready and it's charged. So the next thing that we're going to do is just take the end light sensor out of the packaging and just pop that on the table. Pick up your inserter. It can be a little bit confusing because the, at the top there's some, something that looks like buttons but it's not actually buttons. What you're interested in is the green button on the front. If we just take a look on the inside of the inserter and you'll see that there's a hole just here and that's where this part of the end light sensor needs to go into this hole. So you just want to make sure that the round part of the insertion device will go towards the round part of the sensor. So we're just going to place that and click down. You now just need to hold on to the little feet on either side and pull the inserter up. That's rubbish, that can go away. If you don't want your child to see the needle, just don't show them inside here. So we're all ready to go now and to pop the sensor onto your child. I'm going to use Lenny. The areas that you can attach a sensor are to the tummy if there's enough fat or to the buttocks. At this point you just want to think about which way you want the mini link to be facing once it's attached and the mini link is going to be attached to the round part and we normally recommend that that's facing outwards. Okay. So you're just going to place that in the position that you want to put the sensor and get ready to press the button. You press and let go. It's the let go action that fires the sensor in and you'll feel that happen. In order to remove the insertion device, you need to press and hold the button again. That just opens up the insertion device and pull away. We now need to remove this part. This is the bit that contains the needle. So you just need to hold the sensor down firmly in place and pull away. Now your needle is safely contained in here, I'm just going to put that into the sharp spin. And just continuing to hold the sensor down in place firmly, we're now going to remove the plastic from the dressing. The plastic is just concertinaed underneath, so you just want to find the bottom tab of the plastic and pull that away. And just make sure that that is stuck down nicely. Now we need to make sure that the sensor is well stuck down using the dressing that comes in the box. It tells you quite clearly um, which part you need to take off first. So peel off the number one. It's quite tempting to want to place the, the dressing um, right over the top and so that the sensor is coming through the hole. But you really need to make sure that the dressing is firmly holding the sensor down in place. So you need to give that a little stretch and place that right over the top of the sensor, stretching it down as you go. It's really important that it's stuck in well because this is what will determine that the sensor lasts the full seven days. Let's just pull away the, the side tabs which say number two on them. And we can see that that is very nicely in place. Once again, I'm going to show you how to stick the sensor down using this model. Once again, removing the first part that says number one, giving that a bit of a stretch as you place it down over the top of the sensor. 
really making sure that that's firmly stuck down and just removing the side tabs which say two. We're now ready to put the mini link on and you can see that it's fully charged because it's no longer flashing. So we just pull that away. We know it's ready because there's a little green light on the mini link itself which flashes. We're just going to clip that into place and you'll feel it click. If this was being attached to a human body, you would then see the same green light flashing again to confirm that it's working. And finally, we just remove the bit of plastic off this tab and secure that in place. And we can see that that is nicely secure. And that's the procedure finished.